Hi, first graders. Today, I'm here, Mrs. Briggs, to teach you another reading lesson. Um, our target, again, is I can determine the main idea and key details of a text. So hopefully when you hear that, you think, oh, another nonfiction text. I'm going to be reading facts about something. And you would be correct. That is exactly what we're going to do. Um, today, our text is called Dragonflies. Again, it's on Epic. So I will show you where that is. Um, and another reminder, with writing your main idea and key details, you can use a piece of paper, a notebook, a journal, um, or you can add it as a drawing or note on Seesaw. But if you do use paper, make sure you take a picture of it and share it on that activity so we can see your work. Um, if I go to Epic, I went to my mailbox and I'm going to look for a unit 7 again. So here it is. Unit 7. Um, today is dragonflies. Again, there are many texts about dragonflies on here. I'm going to go to this one. Dragonflies. And today it is not a read to me, so I will be reading to you. Um, again, the title is dragonflies. Um, and I'm noticing something special about this word. When two smaller words are put together to make one bigger word, what is that called? Right? Compound words. So we have dragon plus fly equals dragonfly. Dragonflies. Dragonflies are insects. They can be many colors. Many live near water. Here we're going to learn about the body. Dragonflies have six legs. They have four wings. They have two large eyes. Some have hairy bodies. Ooh, habitat. Habitat, what does that mean? I want you to think about when we did our habitats for science. What is a habitat? Right, somewhere that the animal lives, their home. Dragonflies live almost everywhere on Earth. Oh, there's another compound word. Where dragonflies live is marked with this color, that yellowish tan. Oh my goodness, dragonflies are almost everywhere. I want you to look and see where you would not find a dragonfly. And I also want you to think about why are there no dragonflies living there? Way up here. Way down here. Where are all the dragonflies? Oh, here they are. Why would a dragonfly not want to live down here or up here? Some dragonflies live near lakes or ponds. Others live by streams. They can live in swamps too. Ooh, food. Dragonflies are good hunters. It is easy for them to catch prey. Hmm, they're catching prey. What does the word prey mean? It is easy for them to catch prey. Oh, this picture helps me out a little bit too. It looks like they're eating something. So prey must be the food that they're trying to catch. Dragonflies eat other insects. They often eat mosqu mosquitoes. Flies are another common food. Life cycle. Ooh, we're going to learn more about life cycle in science with frogs, butterflies, and mealworms. Dragonflies lay eggs. Some lay hundreds of eggs. Some lay more than a thousand. Nymphs later hatch from the eggs. I'm noticing this word, nymphs, has a PH. And PH makes what sound? Right, th, nymphs. Nymphs live underwater. 
Some stay there for several years. Then they become adults. Most, dra most adult dragonflies live only a few weeks. I want you to pause on this page and see if you can find any other compound words. Oh, there it is, underwater. Under plus water equals underwater. And then we have dragonflies again. And that is the end. So I want you to write a main idea for that text and add some details. Two details is fine. If you want to challenge yourself, add three um, or four. Uh, if you do, write on a notebook, remember, take a picture of it and upload it to the reading activity on Seesaw. All right, have fun.